So we've seen a few wrestling horror movies in the past, but I don't think we've seen one like this. And it's from the director of Wolf Cop. So let's talk about it. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of a movie that came out in the Fantasia International Film Festival called Dark Match. It actually premiered there, and I didn't get a chance to watch it right away because I got the copy of the screener a little late, and I had scheduled everything for Fantasia right before that. So I'm just now catching up, and man, am I kicking myself for not watching this sooner. Dark Match is a movie that was directed by Lowell Dean, who has done Wolf Cop, another Wolf Cop, and a few other films aside from that. It's essentially about a small town wrestling sort of organization, a company company that has a bunch of different wrestlers with different various cool names that go to do what they call a dark match, which essentially is an out of town, non televised match. And oftentimes when they do these kind of matches, it's sort of to test out some of the actual wrestlers to see if they're actually going to be moved up or what they're going to do with the storylines and things like that. But they accept this large paying, probably too good to be true sort of gig. And it's in this backwoods town that they learn it's a little too late to go back. And well, it's run by a mysterious cult leader. Their dark match has turned into a pay per soul match to the death. Now, Lowell Dean also wrote this, so he had a large portion of this entire movie, and he actually didn't even know if he was ever going to get this made. But it's Canadian, and they actually said, hey, let's do it. For some reason, some of the greatest, craziest ideas, I don't know what it is, but Canada just seems to pass them and do them really well. And I really enjoyed this movie. Now, I want to be clear. If you've seen Wolf Cop or another Wolf Cop, those movies are definitely in a different sort of tone. They're fun movies that are mostly comedy and a lot of, you know, graphic stuff and that sort of retro feel. This has that retro feel because it's set in the 80s, which I thought was fantastic, by the way. But it's not like overly comedy. It is humorous and a lot of fun, but it's not like over the top humor all the time. It's actually trying to play a really real story with a pretty absurd, crazy idea. Plus the cast, holy crap. This cast is amazing. And I think that's what really made me enjoy the film the most is that I really liked every character in this movie. I really like how they were written. I really enjoyed how they delivered, you know, some better than others, but for the most part, overall, really good. I'm going to read the list. It's Aisha Issa, who is in Transplant. We got Stephen Ogg. Who doesn't love Stephen Ogg? I mean, I could see a million movies with Stephen Ogg in it. Trust me. Michael Eklund's in this, doing a fantastic job. Sarah Canning, Jonathan Cherry from Final Destination 2, the guy that got... Mo Jabari, who was an actual Canadian wrestler, and... Chris freaking Jericho is in the movie, which I don't want to say anything about any of their characters too much, but let's just say everybody does a fantastic job. It was weird seeing Chris Jericho in the ring again, but man, is it really cool how they go about and do all of this. Now you're probably asking yourself how much wrestling is really in here. Well, they sort of lean into the character aspects of each of these wrestlers, but there is a lot of wrestling in the film. I wouldn't say that it's like the best wrestling I've ever seen but it is well beyond sufficient. So it's done well. They obviously knew what they were doing. They trained for this kind of thing and it looks believable. Some obviously better than others considering we got real talent in here from wrestling. But man, the weird cult leader stuff that's added into this movie and like how it flows in the very beginning, I was instantly just into this movie because the actors and everybody it seems like it's edited really well. Sometimes when I watch some of these independent films, they like don't know how to edit it just right or 
Maybe the characters aren't really bouncing off each other really well. So there's ways to kind of cover that up in the post process. And this movie does a really good job of it all together. We're not talking about going to the Oscars here. This is in that vein where it's like kind of indie, but also kind of mainstream. And it kind of fits that niche because the actors are so good in it that it really kind of boosts the level of the indie. There is some blood. There is some gore. They do some different types of matches in this movie that kind of all play to the very end of the movie which i loved the ending by the way so i was expecting it to be a little bit more graphic but it is definitely well within enjoyable so don't feel like you're missing out on anything because this is actually really fun. I really enjoyed all the characters. I love Steven Ogg. Aisha Issa did a fantastic job. I mean, everybody really did a good job in this film. And I was not expecting this to be one of my favorite films of the whole Fantasia Film Festival. And that's partially because, you know, I don't always just like slow burn movies. And I think that sometimes we get trapped in this like thing where sometimes slow burn movies seem more serious they seem a little bit more higher level like art forms i look at all of them as art forms and some movies aren't just supposed to be very very serious there's different tones for every movie and it's nice to have a film like this to pop out in a sea of two serious movies and do it well that's the important thing i think they picked great actors for the roles and it just flows really well i think some people are going to like this movie no matter what i think there's going to be a range of scores i'm somewhere at like a 7.5 or an 8 but i really really like the ending the dismount was just so fun that it really kind of pushes me into the eight and that's kind of important because i love the characters they're just all kick ass i'm not even a wrestling fan and i just love this movie so because the beginning of the movie just sets right off you get into their world really quick in a nice quick just info dump in the middle of the credits and it just does a really good job of showing you what to expect from these characters and you kind of like are just like in with the crowd instantly and that's really important in a movie is that you feel comfortable with these characters because what they're gonna go through you're gonna want to root for some and and others not but yeah i really enjoyed it I'm really thankful that I got a chance to check this out. I don't have a date of release when this is coming out, but I'm sure somebody's going to pick it up and distribute it at some point in time. It's one that I think you should definitely check out. I think some people are going to be like me, really into it, and some people are just going to like it. I think overall, it's a good experience. Are you into wrestling horror movies? Because I have only seen like three, maybe. It's been a while, too. They're, they're very spread out. Oftentimes, it's just really hard to make them work. Like people have these big ideas of putting in these mega stars, And then when they can't really act so well, it just kind of falls flat. And this one did not fall flat. And I think it's because they chose to use more seasoned actors in it while still adding some legends in there. And I think that's what made it work. But yeah, I would love to know what you think about this movie. Are you going to check it out when it gets out into the regular public? Thank you, Fantasia Film Festival, for a wonderful show. I had a great time watching as many as I possibly could. Thank you, Lowell Dean and company and the group for letting me check out this movie. There's a couple films out there that I still haven't gotten to see yet that we're maybe going to catch in another festival or in the future. So stay tuned. We got a lot more coming for you guys. Thanks. And as always, long live the void. void.